How did it feel to bounce back after a couple of subpar performances for you? Uh, it was good. I mean, I know I went through a rough two games, uh, but that's what my teammates are for. Uh, we, we fought through it as a team. Uh, they helped me out get through it. Uh, Coach Cal, Coach KP, all the coaches, they, they walked me through it, talked me through it. I just made sure I kept playing hard and just focused on just winning and focused on the team. And I had a, gr- a great game last game, and hopefully I keep that going. How much pressure does it take off you when you're struggling to know guys like Shea and whoever else down the bench can step up and take over? I mean, I know, I know it's good. Whatever. I know we can win by 30 when I'm not playing well. So, I mean, me and Nick haven't been playing well. We've been, we've been winning, uh, doing really well as a team. So, it's good to know that when a couple of players aren't playing well, the rest of the team can step up and we can win games and other guys can have big games. What are you doing differently that got you out of this little funk? I mean, I'm just focusing on my uh, focus on the team, uh, focusing on winning. I think I was thinking too much when I was going through my two stretch. And last game I came out and focused on defense and rebound. I think I had eight rebounds in the first half. So if I could just focus more on defense, focus on the team, not focus so much on offense, I think that will help the team out so much. So you weren't worried about scoring. If it happens, it happens, and it will happen for you. Yeah, I mean, like Coach, I talked to Coach Cal. I mean, he just said just let the offense come. Just focus on defense, rebounding. Get other teammates involved, and the offense will come. So that's what I did against LSU. I rebound the, uh, the ball really well, and I mean, the offense just came on hitting shots that I wasn't hitting before. So it's good to know that I see the ball go through the hoop, and hopefully, I keep going. Are teams defending you any differently now that they've seen more of you? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I watch a lot of film with KP. I mean, uh, as we always do. So I mean, teams are knowing that I like I like to drive, I like to I like to shoot. So they kind of force me to do other things and force me to pass the ball. So. I just got to be a willing passer. I got to trust my teammates to know that they can knock the shot down, know that they can get to the basket and score. So I just trust my teammates and my offense will come just by defense. You mentioned driving the ball. Are you surprised no one, and no one has been able to stop Shea at all when he goes left? I mean, that's his move and no yeah. one can take him. Yeah, Shea, Shea's doing a really good job. The last couple, three, four games, he's been doing a really good job of getting to the basket. I mean, a lot of teams can't stop him. I mean, he's just really, really gifted at getting to the basket and finishing layups. Uh, he finishes almost everything around the basket, so if he can keep that going, that help a lot. I know a lot of teams like Cal said we're going to probably start collapsing on him, so he's been working on being able to get in the lane and find other players to kick to. So, I mean, he's doing a really good job. Hopefully, and keep driving. Hopefully, that we can keep this up. How much fun was it winning in such a hostile environment? It was good. It was my first true road game, so it was loud. A lot of the yellow pom poms. So, I mean, it was good that we went out there as freshmen. Uh, we was down at half. We fought back and got a great win on the road. Have you heard about how wild it's going to be down in Knoxville? Yeah, Kip, uh, Cal talked to us about that today. Uh, I mean, there was nobody in town, and the game's already sold out. So it's going to be great. Uh, it's another good road game for us, another good test for us as a team. So we got to be able to go out and fight. Cal was saying that the PJ did a nice job talking to the other guys mm-hmm. on the team, kind of a leadership kind of yeah. thing. What is he doing that's different, and, and how is it helping you guys? I mean, last game there was a stretch where we weren't really driving the basketball, and. PJ went to the huddle and was like, yo, we need to drive the ball. They can't stop us getting to the basket. So next couple possessions, PJ got the ball, went straight to the basket, got fouled or got, got a basket. So he just, whenever we're struggling or going through a rough stretch that we need to figure out something, he's always there to speak up to us and tell us to keep going, tell us to keep fighting because we can win the games because we know we can. So And PJ didn't want to lose the game. We all didn't. So he was definitely communicating that to us. And what makes Coach Payne so effective with you guys, especially the big guys? Uh, it just keeps it 100. Uh, and a lot of us go to KP to tell us the truth. Like, he won't sure code nothing. we we'll watch film, we'll work out. He knows exactly what we need to work on, exactly what we need to watch. So he just he does a really good job of just talking to each of us and getting us through this process because he knows it's a hard process and you no know, teams are starting to scout us a little bit more. So he's definitely there for us all the time. He keeps it 100 with us at every, every, every time. A lot of people are maybe talking about him being a head coach pretty quickly. Do you think he's going to get shine in that role whenever it or whenever it happens for him? I mean, if that happens for him, I think he'd do a really good job. Uh, I think he's doing a great job now as assistant, so maybe it'd be even better if he has a head coach. So if that ever happens, I mean, that would be really great for him. Kevin, sorry if you've been asked this before, but did you feel like you were in a funk those two games when you came out of it the other day, or did you feel like you were playing well, just the shots weren't falling for you? I mean, I thought the shots that I was taking were good shots. I just wasn't making them, so... I mean, I knew I was going through a rough stretch, but like I said, the teammates, they did a great job of stepping up. We got uh, two big wins against Georgia and Louisville. So, I mean, it's good to know that if I'm having a bad game or somebody's having a bad game, that other players can step up and be able to contribute to the team and win as a team. You hit the boards. You had, like, 11 rebounds. Was that a conscious effort the other night? Did you make up your mind you were going to the boards, or is that just the product of being, you know, playing hard? 
Yeah, Cal challenged me not to focus on offense so much and focus on defense and rebounding. And I, and I took the challenge uh, in the first. Like, first, I've had 10, to eight, uh, 10 points, 8 rebounds, and almost had a double-double. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing from now on, just focusing more on uh, defense, focusing on rebounding, and getting my other teammates involved. And like I said, the offense will come, and that's what happened against LSU. Yeah, the first true road game down there, obviously now you're going back-to-back with, with this one Saturday night. Is there something that you noticed that was different? I mean, how big you know, of a difference was that crowd in that first no yeah, game we, we was driving around uh, the campus two days before. We didn't see not one person on campus. Then we get there on game day and it's sold out. So I think that's how Cal State is going to be in Tennessee. So it would have probably probably be crazy, to be honest. So, I mean, I, lo- I love road games. I love when we play against other teams and love the crowd and all that yelling. That's what I like to, uh, to see. So it would be another good test for us, and hopefully we can get, get there and fight through and, and win as a team. What do you like about it, Kevin? I mean, I just like the environment. I like the screaming. I like seeing different colors other than blue. Uh, so, I mean, it'll be, it'll be a great game, a great environment. And Knoxville, I heard, is one of the craziest places to play. So, it'll definitely be a good test for us. Do you think that, I mean, they're off to an 0-2 start in the league. What, are you all expecting them to be in desperation mode? Oh, yeah. We expect them to give us 100%. I mean, they lost the last two. And, of course, they're playing Kentucky. So, they're going to go out there and give it all. So, I mean, I know it's going to be a great game. I know they're going to... Every player is going to play their best because once they're 0-2 and 2, they're playing Kentucky, so everyone plays their best against us.